Soho. Michael stood out this year by placing second in the Masters, winning the World Cup and playing second, placing second in the Duke. Mike was first. Mike Ho, he was the first one to win the Triple Crown. But I think it goes like Dad won the first one, and then Uncle Derek, and then Dad, and Uncle Derek, and Uncle Derek, and then Dad, or I don't even, I used to know it. I got two, and lo and behold, my brother said, sorry, I got four, you know, I still, I thought I was the guy, but when I really think about it, he's world champion, uh, four time triple crown champion. I mean, amazing. I don't know how, but I won the next triple crown the next year. I was fortunate to win the last Duke that they ever had, and my first triple crown. I mean, both those guys, the brothers, are pretty fantastic surfers. I mean, kind of like kind of royalty over here, you know? <laughs> They're just an epic family, and like, I just get so stoked. Like, I'll pile out Rockies and and Mike Ho's just dominating. Like he piles out and just gets every wave he wants. But he piles out the pipeline, like everyone just gives him anything he wants. Basically, it's like, like if you're Michael Ho, pipeline's empty every day. You know, in the barrel that were amazing. Ah, oh, favorite thing is the barrel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those guys had it on a string at fight. They really did, and um, and Sunset too, actually. You know, come to think of it, they're probably the best two surfers here because a lot of guys would only concentrate on one break, you know, but those guys were the best two brothers, or the best two guys. Yeah, Michael and Derek Ho were very prominent. Michael is one of the guys that just had a lot of heart. He was very competitive and in that part of, you know, Michael and Derek is kind of what stands out for me, just very strong uh, competitively. The most famous moment by far for Mike is winning the Pipe Masters with the broken arm. That was pretty nuts. The guy's got a broken wrist and a cast. Second of all, just grab rail, backside tube riding at Pipeline. It was just like, what is that? You know, like, it was crazy. The whole surfing world was just in awe of that, you know. And, and then Derek winning the world title. I remember I was sitting upstairs with Mike and Jerry Lopez watching Derek Ho win his first world title, and which was the first Hawaiian world title as well. And, that was an incredible moment. Just those guys were so stoked. Mike Ho was up there like with, with towels during the final or whatever, like flagging Derek which way to paddle, like what the sets, you know, and the whole the whole beach was just going nuts and I just remember that being a pretty rad moment. Obviously it felt, you know, I was ecstatic, you know, winning it in Hawaii in front of your your family and your home crowd. You know, just just surreal sitting up there with Jerry and Mike and you know I'd been traveling with Derek all year and that was my rookie year actually on the ASP WCT so to end it you know watching Derek win the title as my travel partner and my friend and you know just hanging with the legends and having them tell you about pipe and old stories and stuff was just priceless.